junior high today we are gonna trace a rabbit on a window and like just like we do at school so you can get the outline down because I don't want you to spend a ton of time on the shape today we want to focus more on how to do shading and making an animal look like it actually has fur so go ahead and find a picture of a rabbit on the internet and um, trace the shape so I've done that here it's super light. This is the bunny I chose. Now I've sped up my the speed of the video so I'm going super fast but feel free to slow this down or pause it at um, any time. So what I want you to do is when you look at the rabbit I want you to look at the darker shades. So if you concentrate on the ears um, this rabbit has dark spots to show like the outside of the ear and where the ear bends and so to make that look three-dimensional, we're going to try to shade darker parts on the outside and then we're going to make the inside look lighter and it gives it kind of a realistic look. Now take your time, so we could never do this in school because these rabbits actually take, I mean these bunnies that we're um, trying to make look realistic take a long time. So there's no rush doing this and um, if you don't want to take the time to do the first shading then just you know color it in like you used to, no big deal. But try to make it look a little bit three-dimensional by see how I'm making parts of it lighter and parts of it darker. That's gonna make it look, really look fun. Okay if you look at the rabbit it, right in between its eyes you'll see there's a little darker patch of fur. So when I do a drawing like this, I try to highlight those darker spots so that I know what I'm going to concentrate on to make it look more three-dimensional. And if you look around the eye, towards the back of the eye, there's a lighter spot, and that really gives it some interesting depth. Uh, when you're doing the eye, look at that little white spot. That's the reflection, and be sure to put a reflection in because otherwise your eye looks really flat. Go ahead and put darker and lighter highlights in there so that you can really make it come to life. Now, if you see, I'm trying to just figure out where the little rabbit's cheek is. So I'm just putting that in so that I can follow along. Now I'll go towards the back of the um, the back of his cheek, and I'm just trying to fill that in. But if you look, it's kind of lighter, so I'm not going to use as hard of a pencil on that part. And when I do this, I kind of bop around and I do the parts that um, I feel need the most, you know, to give me the three-dimensional look that I need. So if I feel in the nose right now, it's going to round off that part of the face. So I'll jump around. Take your time. Go back over places that you've done already once and look at the dark and light spots. That's what you want to concentrate on here. Okay, another thing I'd like to mention is that if you notice, I changed the direction of my little fur lines. And that helps to also give it dimension and make things look rounder or, you know, flatter, whatever. So as I change the pencil direction, it kind of changes the way the rabbit um, curves. By making things lighter and darker, it changes the curves. By changing the direction of the fur, it makes it curve. So these are just some fun little tricks. Now you're your rabbit may or may not look like mine and that's fine it doesn't matter this is supposed to be a relaxing enjoyable you know art lesson zero pressure it's not graded um, it's just to help you do something besides all that other homework hopefully you're taking a break um, at the bottom of my rabbit I have a little blanket so that's what I'm drawing right there here's an example of how to draw fur you might want to slow that down a little bit um, okay. Well, ho hopefully yours is going to turn out just great. Thank you so much.